Good morning and thank you for joining our daily outlook. And today we'll cover the changes in gold. Greg will be sharing insights from our trading desk. The gold got a slight bump of 0.1% against the dollar in the last session. The ROC is giving a positive signal. The Euro-Dollar pair corrected downwards in the last session, falling 0.1%. The ultimate oscillator is giving a positive signal. The pound fell 0.7% against the dollar in the last trading session. The stochastic indicator's negative signal is in line with the overall technical analysis. The Bitcoin-Dollar pair plummeted 3.7% in the last session. According to the CCI, we are in an oversold market. Thank you. Moving on to the latest updates in the world financial news. Wall Street's main indexes fell sharply at the open, with economy-linked value and travel stocks taking a hit after a spike in global COVID-19 cases raised fresh concerns. Bitcoin miner Iris Energy Proprietary is reportedly planning to raise about $200 million in a new fundraising round before it seeks a direct listing on the NASDAQ. Timmet has opened a new AAA game studio in Montreal, the second such studio the Tencent-owned division has started in a month. Thank you for this. Coming up, today's major economic events. The U.S. Red Book Index will be released at 1255 GMT, the Eurozone's current account at 800 GMT, the U.S. housing starts at 1230 GMT. Australia's RBA meeting minutes will be released at 130 GMT, Japan's BOJ monetary policy meeting minutes at 2350 GMT, Germany's producer price index at 600 GMT. We hope that you've enjoyed today's market outlook. On behalf of all of us here, we wish you a productive trading day. Be sure to log in tomorrow morning with the latest news and events from the financial market.